This is the installation video for the Level Lock Permanent Mount Ladder Leveling System on a Type 1A 300-pound duty rated Louisville L3022 series ladder. First remove the stock ladder shoe by unbolting it. Removing the shoe. Make a mark at two and a half inches. Draw a line across. Cut two and a half inches from the bottom of the rail. Cut that section of the rail completely off. Measure three quarters of an inch below the bottom rung lip and make a mark. Please note that this mark is very important. It represents the lowest mounting bolt hole and is the official reference point for the remaining two holes that will be drilled into the ladder rails for proper mounting. Make two center line marks at an inch and five eighths and at your original mark and then draw a center line connecting the two. Use the template to mark all three holes. Set the template in the correct position with the bottom mark that you just made. And then mark the next two holes. You'll drill an initial 1 8 of an inch pilot hole at each of the three marks. And then enlarge those pilot holes with an 11 30 seconds bit. Make sure you have a nice, clean, smooth hole for the bolts to slide smoothly through. At every bolt, glue one spacer to the level lock leveler. Use the supplied metal adhesive. Then you mount them on the bolts. Make sure that the aluminum spacer plate and glue set. Then attach the level lock permanent mount leveler with washers and nuts. Each bolt gets a single round washer. And then use a ratchet to tightly assemble the nut to the rail. After the level lock permanent ladder leveling system is installed with all washers and nuts attached properly, it is important to test the assembly. To do so, test the leveler function by snapping the lower curved foot pedal down into the ready position. Extend the inner leg 5 or 6 inches and then retract the inner leg by activating the release lever near the top. Please note that all level lock ladder levelers have an automatic backup safety lock so that if there is any pressure on the leveler shoe, the release lever will be restricted in its movement. This safety feature is designed for your safety, and it is important that the leveler shoe remains somewhat loose on the shoe bolt, just as it is when you first receive the product. Install the second ladder leveler on the opposite rail by following the same directions. After you've finished installing both ladder levelers, the level lock permanent mount ladder leveling system is ready to be used. 